Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be doing a small review on the Kais Heated Jacket. This is uh, an under jacket which can be worn underneath your leathers or underneath a textile jacket and basically it's heated as the name suggests. Um, in order to use this we have to connect it to the bike, um, although there is a, uh, a battery pack option which sits inside a little pocket inside the jacket. Um, naturally using a battery will uh, give you a limited range before you require to uh, stop and change the batteries or plug it in and charge it. Um, with it connected directly to the bike you don't have that issue. Anyway, let's uh, let's get the seat off, disconnect the battery and look at what we're going to be doing. Thanks for stopping by, welcome to the channel. One other thing uh, I'll, I'll mention while we're here is I recently picked up a uh, single seat cowl um, for this bike in obviously the correct colour. Uh, as you can see, it literally just clips onto these little studs on the on the seat itself, and then um, you just fit the seat as normal. And uh, it's a nice little bit of kit in it. And I got it off of a member of the uh, the VFR forums, and it wasn't particularly expensive. So thanks to that guy. Anyway, right, let's put that down to one side and let's get the battery disconnected. Right. Let's get into the battery, just pop these two, the two push pins off, trim comes off, dead easy, right. Let's disconnect the battery, good practice, always disconnect negative first. As you can see, I've got a few things connected to my battery. Obviously I've got heated grips. And uh, I'm not forgetting the aftermarket regulator rectifier kit. So yeah. Right, okay, battery disconnected. What we'll do, we'll open up the box and have a look at what's inside. Okay, let's open up the box and have a look at what we've got inside. Right, we've got um, the wiring kit, which is what we're going to fit in a second. And we've got a few different fuses. Now, um, you can actually link several different components of the uh, of the Kais equipment together. You can get insoles, you can get gloves, you can get... Um, I think you might be able to get trousers. I can't remember 100% um, off the top of my head. But you can definitely get inso um, insoles for your boots and, and gloves. And they can all link together. Now, you put the fit the fuse to this fuse holder determined by how many bits of kit you've got and I think there's a little table yeah so basically all you need to do with each of the uh, with each of the components you just add together the power draw and you fit the corresponding size of fuse and um, what I'll do I'll put that little um, I'll take a photograph of that and I'll put it up on the screen so everybody can see it and here's the jacket itself now it's uh, I've gone for an XL because I'm a some would say a fairly significant chap so I needed a big size um, and uh, I did try one on um, at the uh, NEC Motorcycle Live last year, so I knew um, that this one was going to fit me. Um, hopefully lockdown hasn't been too uh, bad for me and I can still fit in an XL. Um, but there's the jacket itself. As you can see, it's a sleeveless one. Um, I believe you can get a sleeved one as well. Um, but uh, yeah, the, it, it feels nice. There's, uh, you can feel inside here. in this pocket here, sorry, not that one, this one. Here's where all the uh, connectors go. And as you can see, they just, they push for it with little little seals inside in order to keep them uh, nice and warm. And that's where the battery would go. And you can also get a regulator so you can adjust the temperature so you can have it low or high or whatever. Without the regulator, it's basically on full blast. Um, so we'll, I'm not sure how hot that's gonna be, but uh, I'm sure I'll find out very shortly. Um, feels like a nicely made thing, all the stitching's nice. Designed in the UK, doesn't say made in the UK, it just says designed in the UK, so I don't know whereabouts it's actually made. Um, but yeah, it's a nice bit of kit, let's, let's try her on. And thankfully, 
I can still fit in an XL, so I'm not going to uh, cry myself to sleep tonight. Um, but yeah, it's a nice, nice bit of kit. There's that's the whole pocket for the. What else we got here? Oh, there's the there's so there's where the pop that's the pocket where the battery can go into with a little uh, little grommet for the wiring to come out of. What we got here? We have got something else in here. I can feel it. Right there we go. So that's that'll be the connector that goes into the bike connector. So that'll uh, that'll connect up uh, once it's on the bike. Right. So what I'm guessing you do, I think that's where you link all the bits together. I'll have to have a look at the uh, I'll have to have a look at the instructions. And what I'll do, I'll I'll put a little bit of info at the bottom of the screen when I edit the video, so you can see what's going on. But I'm guessing if you're using the battery pack, that goes through there like that, and then you've got the access to the battery um, and then you can close up the, the zipper as as required so anyway moving on let's uh, let's um, get it wired up to the bike and uh, give it a little test out and see how hot it gets right here we go let's uh, let's wire it up okay let's uh, let's take the cable out of the bag and have a look at what we've got oh Got a couple of zip ties as well in case we need to uh, tie it up anywhere. And there we go. As you can see, it's quite long. Um, no fuse fitted at the moment because, as I said before, you have to choose the right size. But I'll put that table up on the uh, on the screen so you can see it. Um, I only need it to be probably about about that long, really. So there's plenty of uh, plenty of slack in the cable. Okay. Right. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a few connectors um, for my uh, for my bike. Um, I've got um, one for heated grips. I've got another one for an Oxford maximizer connector, so I can plug it in and charge the bike where I want, when I, whenever I need to. And obviously, I've got the one from the uh, modified reg reg regulator rectifier kit. So there's quite a few connectors, but we should be okay because the uh, the bolts are more than long enough. Um, so, right, let's let's get the uh, the connectors made. So this is the positive one, and we've got the positive from. The reg rec. Give her up. And make them good and tight. And there we go. Right then, so we've got our, got our cable connected to the bike. What we need to do now is just choose the correct fuse for the fuse holder. So I'll, um, I'll go and grab the, uh, the documentation out of the box and we'll have a look at that now. Okay, so looking at the, uh, the good old destructions, um, mine is the premium model vest, the V501, and the premium vest V501 consumes 1.5 amps. So the, uh, the lowest rated fuse that they give you is a three amp fuse. So um, I'm gonna use a three amp fuse. I mean, it gives you an example here. Sleeve jacket consumes seven amps. Insoles consume 1.3 amps. Therefore total is 8.3 amps. Next fuse value above this is 10 amp. So use a 10 amp fuse. So I'm gonna use the three amp fuse because that's the next rating above. So the three amp fuse should be a purple one. It probably tells you on here. Yeah, purple. Let's get the purple fuse out. Come on. There we go. Close it up. Don't need that. Right. Let's pop in our three amp fuse. It's a good tight fit. I'll say that much. In fact, it was that tight. I bent the fuse. Right. Of a tight fit that was, that was snug okay and there we go put the cap on and it's uh, it's now waterproof right what i want to do is i do need to manage where i'm gonna have this because obviously things like the uh, the seat goes under here and all that sort of stuff so i don't want it i don't want it trapped by uh, any of that good stuff so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try and keep it out of the way of all of that 
and I probably think I might run it down there. So if I keep it out there for the moment, and then when I'm not using it, all I have to do is just like lift the seat off and tuck it back away. I don't actually have to have it hanging out all the time. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop the tie wrap. No, that tie wrap's not long enough. Let's try there. Yeah, that'll do it. So if I pop a tie wrap on there, Pop the time wrap on there. Get it where I need it, which is going to be about there, I reckon. And then we can tighten those up. And there we go. And there we are. That is the installation complete. Now, what we want to do now is we want to give it a test. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the jacket on, I'm going to plug it in, I'm going to fire the bike up. Be a bit noisy, but I should be able to feel the warmth and uh, I'll let you know how, uh, how toasty it feels. So, let me get it on and uh, I'll bring you back in a second. Okay, as I, uh, as I said before, this is the connector for the, uh, for it to connect to the bike, 12 volt power input. This one just here, as I said earlier, there is trousers and insoles, etc. 12 volt power to trousers and insoles. You literally plug them in there. Um, if you've got gloves, you plug one, obviously the cable will go up the sleeves of your jacket, and you can plug them in to there and then there. Obviously, left and right gloves. And um, yeah, away you should go. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, do my jacket up. I plug myself into the bike. And I'm going to fire the bike up so that uh, I'm not draining my battery. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit noisy. Turn the lights off, don't need them on. And uh, let it warm up. Now, obviously, this is like a link. If you've got the, if you've got the, the optional heat controller, that comes off and goes in its place. And um, if you haven't got the heat controller, then you, you basically put this link, uh, this link piece in in order to allow the current to go through. I can actually feel it warming up now. Um, it feels, yeah, it feels quite nice. Um, so yeah, but, uh, what um, you can also get is a heat regulator, which will go in that, um, in that pocket. Uh, and the battery goes in the pocket on the inside that I showed you a moment ago with the little grommet. Um, yeah, it does, yeah, it feels quite, uh, it does feel quite toasty. Not sure how hot it's going to get, it may get uncomfortably hot, in which case I may need to get the heat controller, but um, yeah. You can, you can specifically feel certain points where the jacket is hot and it's mainly around this area here. And uh, disconnect myself. That's um, oh, that is yeah, that's really really nice. Uh, it's a, quite a nice, uh, quite a nice um, warming sensation. So anyway, what I'll do, I will um, I'll leave a link to this jacket uh, in the uh, in the description below, so you can go and uh, check it out yourself and see the uh, the price. If I recall correctly, um, I paid circa 110, 120 pounds. I can't quite remember off the top of my head, but what I'll do, I'll search around and find the best price for you. And I'll stick it in the uh, I'll stick it in the description so you can go and check it out yourself. Um, obviously, there'll be uh, insoles and uh, gloves and all all that sort of stuff from the uh, from the same company. And if you buy them from the same company, they'll all be compatible with the uh, with their system. So yeah, oh all in all, I can't fault it. It's quite a, that is a really really nice bit of kit. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, pop my seat back on, put it all back together, and uh, I'll see you guys again for the next video. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye now.